To give you an idea about its multitasking capabilities, let's start with browsing the internet. Now, I use two browsers, Microsoft Edge and Google Chrome, and usually I have about six to seven tabs open, if not a few more. And honestly, I have not really faced much of a problem. Of course, it's not blazingly fast as you would probably find on an i7, because this is, after all, the Atom processor. We have to be fair. But working with it has not been an issue at all. While I'm browsing, I also have apps open. Notepad is open and also Filmora Video Editor since I'm working on this review. Now the screen recording feature is on. It's recording everything that's happening so that you can see what's going on. So now I decide to open up a VLC and to run an HD movie. So I've opened up X-Men and even scrubbing through it or fast forwarding through it seems to be working fine, no hitch. So now let's open up Word. Word opens, my document is showing up just fine. And then suddenly, bam, there it is. I've got a low memory alert and the advice is that I restart apps so that I can resume working. So there you have it. That's obviously the limitation of the 2 GB RAM. Now here I'm putting it through another stress test. I've got three movies open and all of them are playing absolutely fine even when I switch between them. So as you can see, the problem that we saw earlier was probably because I had the screen recorder running at that time. And that requires a lot more processing so power than the Atom can second. offer. Okay, this is going to sound crazy because all three movies are playing. So I've been working with this laptop for about two months now and it has been a really decent experience. I have Office 365 installed and Word, Excel and PowerPoint have worked absolutely fine. For audio editing, I have Audacity. And just to give you an idea, a 13 MB file of about 5 minutes 43 seconds with 320 kbps bitrate has taken me 40 seconds to render. Use a mouse. I find that the 11.6 inch screen is great but sometimes it's a little too small when I'm working with programs like Excel or when I'm doing my video editing. And in that case, the mouse really is a big help. To sum up, this laptop is great if you like browsing the internet or you like watching your movies for general office work. And I think I've really pushed that processor and RAM by actually doing this entire video review on the Flip X5. And you can see for yourself how it's turned out. Now it hasn't been exactly easy doing the video editing on it because I did encounter a tremendous amount of audio what stutter. Happen, what's what's happen, what's and I think, and I think, and I think, and that obviously is because of the lower end processor and the RAM. But the fact remains, it did the job. So if you're looking at using it for video editing and audio recording and rendering for smaller projects like for YouTube, this should suffice.